हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री इस फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज मोल कंसेप्ट टर्म मोल मीन्स ही फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस टर्म इज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय ओस्टबोल्ड इन 1894 इट इज इक्वल टू 6.022 पॉइंट जीरो टू टू इंटू टेन टू दी पावर ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज एवोगेट्रोज नंबर सो इट इज क्लियर दैट इट इज जस्ट अ नंबर लाइक डजन इट इज अ वेरी लार्ज नंबर एवोगेट्रो नंबर सो इट इज अ प्योर नंबर इट इज अ प्योर नंबर That is, it is dimensionless. In 1971, first of all, it is approved as SI unit. It is used as SI unit. The unit is mole for amount of substance. It is also represented by Avogadro's constant and A, where A stands for Avogadro, which unit is mole inverse. So, see here, Avogadro number dimensionless, a pure number, but Avogadro's constant has unit mole inverse, and A is equals to. 6.022 पॉइंट जीरो टू टू इंटू टेन टू दी पावर ट्वेंटी थ्री मोल इनवर्स और पर मोल विच मीन्स वन मोल ऑफ अ सबस्टेंस हैज सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू टू इंटू टेन टू दी पावर ट्वेंटी थ्री इंडिपेंडेंट पार्टिकल्स नाउ वी टेक अ क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ वर्ल्ड इन मोल्स गिवन पॉपुलेशन इज सिक्स बिलियन नाउ यू हैव टू चेंज इट इन टू मोल्स सो सोल्यूशन we all know very well that if we ask how many dozens how many dozens will be equal to 60 books then we will go 60 divided by 12 is equals to 5 dozen because we know One dozen is equals to twelve. That is twelve books means one dozen. That is why sixty books is equals to sixty divided by twelve is equals to five dozen. Similarly, the number of dozens, that is number of moles, number of moles is equals to Sixty. What is sixty here? The given number, which is to be changed into dozen. So, given number divided by twelve. What is twelve here? The value of one dozen. The value of one dozen. Similarly, to find the number of moles, given number divided by the value of moles. That is n a. Or you can say six point zero two two ten to the power twenty three. So it is a formula which can be used in such questions. We therefore number of moles. Is equals to what is given number six billion. 
सिक्स बिलियन मीन सिक्स इंटू टेन ट्री पावर नाइन वन बिलियन वन बिलियन मीन्स वन बिलियन इज इक्वल टू टेन टू दी पावर नाइन सो सिक्स बिलियन सिक्स इंटू टेन टू दी पावर नाइन डिवाइड बाय एन ए एन ए इज इक्वल टू सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू टू इंटू टेन टू दी पावर ट्वेंटी थ्री बट इन सच क्वेश्चंस वी कैन एप्रोक्सीमेट सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू टू इंटू सिक्स Six divided by six, one ten. So it is equal to one into ten to the power minus fourteen mole. That is the population of world is one into ten to the power minus fourteen mole. So you can imagine that it is a very large number. Now guys, we can again formulate a new formula. If we have to find out the number of particles, the number of independent particles of substance for which we know the number of moles, then we will go given number or the number of particles. Particle may be atom, molecule, ion, electron, proton. Anything a independent particle. So the number of particle is equal to number of moles of that particles of that substance into Avogadro's constant. So you have a formula to find the number of moles from the number of particles, or you can calculate. Number of particles from its number of moles by a conversion factor, Avogadro's constant. Here, a question: Number of atoms in zero point one mole CH four. Guys, here the independent particle is CH four. The substance is CH four. That is why. The number of independent particle of CS4 that is molecule number of molecule is equals to number of moles that is 0.1 mole into Avogadro's constant n a. It is equals to 0.1 mole into we know Avogadro's constant is equal to 0.6.022 into 10 to the power 23 mole in bars. Here mole is cancelled by mole, or it is equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power 22 molecules. You can write it here as 0.1 mole and 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 molecules per mole. So it is the number of molecules. According to this formula, one molecule. Has five atoms, one of carbon and four of hydrogen. That is total five atoms in a molecule. So the number of atoms in these molecules will be equal to total number of atoms. Total number of atoms is equal to five. Number of atoms in one molecule into number of molecules six point zero two two into ten to the power twenty two or into ten to the power twenty two or three point zero one one into ten to the power twenty three atoms in zero point one mole CH four. 
Now the next question. Number of electrons in 0.4 mole aluminium ion. Here the particle is aluminium ion. So first of all, we have to calculate number of aluminium ions is equals to number of moles 0.4 into Avogadro's number into Avogadro's number 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 ions per mole or you can say ions mole inverse per mole mole cancelled by mole inverse so you will find two point four zero eight eight into ten to the power twenty three ions. Guys, as you know, when a neutral atom, any neutral atom has equal number of protons and electrons if a neutral atom releases n electrons then it will acquire n unit positive charge if a neutral atom removes or releases n electron then it will acquire n unit positive charge and change into cation on the other hand, if a neutral atom gains n electrons, then it will acquire n unit negative charge and called anion. Number of protons in nucleus of any element or atom is called atomic number. So, guys, to find the number of electrons in a cation, we have to subtract the number of positive charge, unit of positive charge from atomic number, that is from number of electrons in neutral atom. We all know that atomic number of aluminium is 13, that is number of electrons in one aluminium atom will be 13 so number of electrons in one aluminium ion will be atomic number 13 minus number of unit of positive charge 3 that is 10 electrons so to find the number of electrons to find the number of electrons in a cation, electrons will be equal to J, atomic number, minus N. That is, what is N here? N is the number of units of positive charge. Similarly, to find the number of electrons in an anion, in an anion, you have to add N in atomic number. What is N here? N is the number of unit of negative charge. Is that clear? So, the number of electrons in one aluminium ion, 10 electrons. Now, find the number of aluminium ions. To find the number of aluminium ions is this. That is why total number of electrons, total number of electrons is equals to number of electrons in one ion 10 into number of ions 2.4088 into 10 to the power 23 is equals to 2.4088 into 10 to the power 24 electrons here is your answer that's all in this video and we will Come with the next video. Bye-bye.